Hey y'all, Janet Jekyll Bates. I promised you, especially Brian, I promised that it would be a little bit longer of, an, of a shop update today, but unfortunately I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. I'm running around like a chicken with her head cut off. We've got the Easter egg hunt at the church this morning for the kids. It's Saturday morning. It's the day before Easter. I just finished a mondo, mondo thing of potato salad for everybody. <laughs> and there's two pecan pies that I've still got to wrap. So I'm going to show you what I have. And if we split this into two parts and I do something tomorrow or Monday, then that's probably what we're going to do. First of all, happy Easter to everybody. He has risen. I hope that y'all are having a great weekend. It's beautiful here in Arkansas. Um, shoot, I hope you guys have a dandy of a weekend. If you guys get to get out on the water, I hope you're able to do that. Catch a few fish and laugh with the kids and, and have a real, real nice time. But we're all getting together today. So that means that I've got to hustle because I'm filming this at like 9.30, 9.30. It's 9.30 in the morning, actually quarter of 10 and I'm gonna be at the church at 11.30. So here we go. This little guy right here, I don't even see, I don't have my gloves on because I've been cooking all morning. Um, this is an Ozark Shadow Bass. It's on a six inch, or if you guys wanna do the conversion into millimeters, it's about 150 millimeters. This is an Ozark Shadow Bass. You guys commonly call this a goggle eye or a rock bass. Um, it, it, uh, this is about the size that they're, they're found. They go up to uh, a couple of pounds. I think the state record in Arkansas is one pound, 12 ounces. So I'm going to hopefully beat that this year. That's what, that's one of my little personal goals. My PBs is to get a, a real big shadow bass. And if you encyclopedia it or look it up on some of the reference manuals for the Ozarks, it is its own strain. And that's because the dorsal fins on its back are completely different than rock bass and, and again, the blood. And there's some scientific stuff that I'm not going to get into. But it is different. Shadow bass are different in the same family. They're still um, Presidiae. And that KVD, ouch, 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 ouch. See, I'm trying to hustle. I've got this thing squarely stuck in my thumb. <sighs> that's good. It's the kind of day I'm having, y'all. Um, it's it's just not coming out. There we go. Woo! Okay. So that's that. <laughs> I've also got some spooks going out to my buddy Bob, who he was my pro staff AOI last year. He was one of two that did tremendously well. Um, really did good in his standings. He got AOI for his state, I believe. Um, and Bob is just a fantastic angler but he asked for some spooks and aloe life and uh check out those eyes now those are called real eyes and you can get them at lure parts online i believe you want to type in the order numbers for these and they come i think between six and twelve maybe even up to a 15 millimeter but these happen to be nine millimeter and the um the skew code for these is 2816 so if you guys want to check out some, and they come in this color which is a really good natural color boy this looks real um, and they're called real eyes hence the name real but they come in these which is a natural and they also come in these reds so this is my sassy gill and most of the gills have reddish or yellowish red eyes and uh, they fit perfectly in these spooks so this is what I've got to show you guys today. I got them in the in the Buzz Jets, and uh, just uh, uh, Bob thinks like I do. We th we think a little out of the box when it comes to patterns. I don't like to do traditional patterns, and uh, he's been knocking them dead with this one. So this is the Sassy Gill, a little bit of plum purple on the nose. And this is a fluorescent orange, and it's directly blotted down onto the blue. So because they're opposite colors, they look really good um, off of one another. And that's why I do that. But, uh, ooh, that KBS is looking good today, folks. I tell you, we it's sunny today. And uh, I've spent the last few days, and I got another one of these, too. I'll show you real quick. Um, I spent the last few days pretty much underwater in the rain so 
That is not the case today. It is perfect. The temperature is about 53 degrees. There's a light breeze. It's going to be around 70 degrees today. What you guys are going to see tomorrow, I'm actually going to be working after I get back from church with these guys. Um, I'm going to be doing those warts. So you guys are going to see those, I think, tomorrow. And that's what we're going to do. Thanks for spending a little bit of time. I hope you guys have a fantastic Easter weekend. Look for this to post hopefully by Sunday evening, Easter evening. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later. God bless and we love you.